this is the second part of our 3D modeling tutorial. Welcome back friends. Let's continue from where we have stopped. We'll draw this inclined wall and the sloping roof in this class that is in this video. Okay. Okay, use press pull and select this one and pull it by 11 inch even this by 11 inch and this that is a uh, we'll extrude uh, press pull this portion by 9 inch Here what you can do is you can draw a polyline from this point to this draw a polyline extrude that by 9 inch complete that polyline Put that by 9 inch okay join those two objects you can see we are drawn this and it has to be till this line this is a separate object only only till here so what you can do is draw a rectangle from this point to this extrude that by say 9 inch join these two union you have to remove this part so go to subtract plus this one enter and remove this so this portion will be cut small portion we have left here you can go to extrude face or you can go to press pull also press this and drag it pull it till here okay you can also press pull this one here Move this one inch down. Put this into the layer called band. And put this in different layer. We'll, uh, we'll create a new layer. We'll name it as wall one. And change the color. Select this and put it inside wall 1. Now you can use 3D rotate and select these three objects. Select the base point and the axis here and rotate it. Move this and place it in the proper position that is here. Okay. Copy the same from this point to this one because we need that object too. Now if we go to the, you can see this is the sloping roof and there is a wall here, fascia wall here like this. For that go to the plan and offset that by say 9 inch okay now what you can do is draw a polyline from all these points like this 
and draw the polyline for the roof okay bring it outside just slightly projecting out it has to be till here copy these two new polylines yeah rotate it in the same axis move this and place here okay now we can extrude this till here extrude this till here okay it's done we can match this this and this Here what I have done is this portion is closed by the wall that is from this point to this extrude by sorry this wall okay and then even this portion is closed so find a better angle to view it okay check the distance from this point to this point that is 11 feet draw a box photo box this is the first corner of the box length is this much width is 11 feet and the height is 3 feet okay it is up to this line you can extend that wall from here to here it has to be closed there that wall okay that's it and if you see in my other 3d i've closed here and this whole thing i have put it in the same layer i've closed this portion and also there is a small recess here okay we'll draw it now what you'll do is we will draw a rectangle from this to this okay extrude that by minus 9 okay match this one with the last drawn okay draw a rectangle from this point to this extrude that by minus 9 now go to subtract select this enter and press L L is the last object that is this object enter enter okay now if you see there are two objects overlapping that is one is which is in red color and another one is which is in blue color so what we have to do is first we'll join all this go to union select this okay then copy this and place it in the same position so here there are two objects now in the same position 
duplicate go to subtract select this enter select this copied object okay that's it now it is clear okay now there is a small recess here so what you have to do is draw a box go to box so here draw a box is the first corner length is this one then uh, minus 2 is the recess and you can click perpendicular this one okay so it has to go inside so move that by 2 inch now subtract this one by this okay that's it so the recess part is done we'll stop here and we'll continue in the next tutorial see you in next tutorial save it and close it Thank you.